Welcome back to the New Music Alliance Radio Hour. I'm Violet House Sword, joined this week by Mark Ramon. And you just heard The Muse by Frank Fratelli. Before that, Mockingbird by Nicole Costa. And starting off that block, Armor and Sword by Reed Foe. Where do we want to start? At the top, please. Sounds good. Reed Fall, Armor and Sold. Uh, he's out of Pono, Vermont, which is sort of southwest Vermont near Bennington. Ah. Very, actually a pretty established songwriter. He was actually nominated for a Grammy for his song Fly, which was covered by the country music legend Leanne Womack. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> but this is uh, the first I've heard of his work. And I think one of her it, one of his more recent releases, Wild Wild Love, which just came out this May. It's really, really lovely stuff. I love the message on this. The lyrics are brilliantly sculpted. And his singing voice is really quite something. Mm, I, I'm glad you put this on my radar. I haven't heard of him before, but I got a very chill vibe and kind of like Jackson Brown, not sounding like Jackson Brown, but kind of like of a similar vibe. Mm. I noticed he's, he gets a lot of praises from his peers, like Todd Snyder, Anais Mitchell, and Gregory, Gregory Allen Isakov. So those yeah. are some big names that uh, had some good words about him. Yeah, he's very, very much respected, especially as a songwriter. And it's really cool to see this release of his getting some traction. Then, of course, Nicole Costa from Hartford, Connecticut. Uh, she's someone we've played uh, a couple of times here and there, uh, specifically stuff from her last EP, Bestiary. But this one's new. This one's off of the album Caster's C. This just came out last week. Super new stuff. Ooh. It's actually a concept album about facing the life experiences which made you who you are, regardless of whether those experiences are good or bad. Oof. That's a good topic. <laughs> yeah, and this is a really good song. It's entirely self-produced. She's going to college for music production, and it really shows. There's like a lot of really interesting production tricks on this, like those string-esque synth pads and the, and the drums having that little extra kick to them. Yeah, I mean, I, first thing I noticed is like we don't get much folk music out of uh, Hartford. So mm -hmm. it was a refreshing to hear this. And uh, I love that driving beat. Like you were saying, it's not your typical folk song. It's got to, you know, it's different than just a guitar based folk. I, I like that synth in there. Yeah, it's a really cool touch. It's like sort of indie folk, like in a different way than most people would describe indie folk. Mm. There's a song. Um, Mockingbird on the essential Western New England songbook by Aaron McEwen. I, I wouldn't be surprised mm. someday to see this on there as well. I could believe it, honestly. This is really, really promising stuff. And yeah. I, the whole album is really strong, actually, Caster C. Lots of really cool blending of the sort of indie folk roots with some more modern electronic pop production. A little bit of that extra polish. It's very, very interesting. I like to awesome. hear it. Awesome job, Nicole. Mm hmm. And then rounding off that block, Frank Fratelli from New Haven, Connecticut. He's a, he's a bit of a name down there. A musician, music community organizer, radio host, talented guitarist who's recorded with loads of musicians over the years. He's done basically everything. Yeah, Frank is one of those artists that other artists admire and respect. I, I hear Absolutely. his name all the time when I'm talking to musicians. Absolutely. He's, he's definitely a big name around here in particular. And this EP has both the drummer and the guitarist from Ports of Spain on it. Ah. And it's awesome stuff. This uh, the, the Muse EP, actually, named after this song or vice versa. I'm not sure. Uh, just released last month. I sort of thought of this as a little bit Tom Petty-esque, you know? Mm. That really sharp songwriting. I bet if you created like this huge database of that had all the songs ever written that, and you typed in Muse, it would be <laughs> like one of the biggest topics for a songwriter. <laughs> I could believe it, Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but it's done really well here. I really like the sound of it. The keyboards, the guitar work. It's it's just good. It's just really Absolutely. good. Absolutely. Yeah. So, Violet, what do we have next? Well, next we're going to get real weird with it. Like yeah. with as many different genres crammed into two songs flat as we can possibly pull up. <laughs> we're going to be starting things off with a new track by Ponybird. Here's Slow Nelson. <laughs> 